Look at these beauties, blue beauties to be exact, with a super red meaty interior. They are easy to start from seed, so let's jump into the video with starting from those seeds and a deep grass mulch, which helps with nitrogen, water retention, and weed prevention. Okay, today is the 10th of May and we are going to beauty tomatoes another shot. So I've put them all in here and we'll see what comes up, what survives. I have got it in a bowl and I did cut the grass even though it's no mow May. I cut the pathways that I need to walk around the yard comfortably and the rest will save up. Lightly pat it so that stays wet until it is germinated. Hi guys, today is June 10th. I am in Northwest Ohio, zone five, and we are looking at this blue beauty tomato. And I started this from seed, and we have got, looks like there's four of them in here. This one in the back looks the smallest, so I'm just going to gently pull that out, take it out, Thin it out and now I just have three stalks and I'll come back out a little later and I'm going to weed this. Now I am going to tell you I have grown this one before. Uh, my mom bought these seeds for me for as a Christmas gift. I thought that was very thoughtful of her. Um, I kind of didn't pay too much attention to it. I was going through a divorce. I might not have given it a proper shake so I am going to give her another go and I'm gonna bring you along with me so please stay tuned hey guys today is June 26th and we are out here looking at our blue beauty tomato make your own vegetable markers from seeds that you already harvested so treat yourself and I need to do a little bit of trimming on some of these lower limbs so I'm gonna come back and do that and I'm gonna do a little weeding around the base of it and you can scratch it up and put some air holes in there if you need to but look what's happening isn't that gorgeous we've got another one here that hasn't really started and then we've got some more on this side. So this is all very, very promising. Hey guys, today is June 22nd and we are out here looking at this blue beauty. And can you see in here, we have got some buds happening. Excellent, and right here, look at that. That's even bigger. I don't know why I didn't start with that. See if I can pull that up just a little bit. Yeah. Excellent. We had high 90 degree weather yesterday. It's 7 a.m. right now. Uh, we're going to have that again today. And tomatoes absolutely love that heat and humidity. They thrive on it. This one's doing fantastic. Hey guys, today is July 1st. We're just back here looking at this blue beauty tomato. And I have got lots of little blooms on here. So that is exciting. Hey guys, today is July 6th and we're out here looking at these blue beauties. And can you see kind of that blue stripe that's starting to form there? See, we've got some other ones back here as well. We've had about two days of rain and they have really, tomatoes, actually all plants, they really love real natural watering. And there has been so much growth out here. So splendid. Very pleased. Let's look at this little teensy tiny one. Looks like a little green pearl, doesn't it? Alright, let me see if I can get the side view of this. 
we'll see that stripe up a little bit better as this goes along. Hey guys, today is July 13th. We're looking at this blue beauty and can you see the tops of that starting to form? Just a little bit of that blue top or shoulder. It almost looks a little bit like a candy cane stripe there. You can also see that right there as well. We're gonna have lots of these. We've got lots of flower sets up here and you can see how I've trimmed them. Pretty much where there's a fruit, I kind of wait until I see the fruit set and anything beyond the fruit set. For this variety, I will just cut. Obviously not the stems. Or if you have a sucker that has developed a set, I'll let those go too. So, we're doing really good back here. Very pleased. Very, very pleased. Hey guys, July 19th, we're out here looking at our blue beauties. You can definitely see the blue pigment on the shoulders of these tomatoes. Aren't they gorgeous? You can also see, like right here, you might think that I forgot this when I'm pruning, but you can see that you have a combo of fruit set and leaf, almost like a black creme. So make sure you're being mindful about that. And you can see how I've got these pruned up here and how I normally wait to see what's going on and then I'll kind of prune in between one fruit set and the other so that I know it's clear to go. And usually have a lot of top heaviness because I'm waiting for more things to develop. And I probably could come in here and take this one and this one off on this stem because I've got a fruit set here and I've got a fruit set up here. So I know the stuff in between more than likely is not gonna be a fruit set. Hey guys, it is July 28th and I wanted you to see just how blue the tops of these blue beauty tomatoes are. Are they not gorgeous? And look at the styrations and some of these here they're gorgeous. August 11th, and these blue beauties are starting to turn for us. We've just got a little bit of a creamy one, kind of creamy and green, a light pink, and an even darker pink starting to happen here. They're not ready. They're not ripe. I don't have enough of an easy push and cush to the skin, but they will be developing soon. And you can see how easy it is here to prune. You can see the fruit set here. And if you, we follow this one, you can see where we had leaf, 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 fruit set, which dried out because of all of the heat. But as, if we keep moving up, we've got more additional fruit sets starting here. Check out my Etsy shop, T-Shirt Garden Company, featuring gardening, no mo may, sewing, tiny house, zen meditation designs, link in box below. All right, you guys, it is August 12th, and look at these gorgeous blue beauties. Pinkish red on the bottom beautiful purpley merlot this one back here has a great cush on it got some splitting right here along with right here 15th of august and look at how gorgeous these blue beauties are. We have a mass of them ripening almost at the same time. We've got a little bit of cracking here, a little bit of cracking up here on the shoulders. And you can also see back here that during that heat wave it went ahead and got a lot of the blossoms here. 
but that actually happened throughout all of the tomatoes back here. It hit them all. No one was spared, but you can also see where there is, it, they recovered and we've got new growth. So the waves took some of the stuff from all of them, but they're all regrowing and doing what they need to do. So let's see if I can get this one off easily or not. Oh yeah, that one's coming off better. Look at the beautiful blue shoulders on her. And look, okay, yeah, can you see the cush? You've watched me before, you know I like to talk about the cush. Obviously we've got some cracking going down here. Alright. This one back here looks like it might be a little bit more ripe and it has a good push in cush. So, yeah, that's coming off nice and easy for us. Again, cracking at the bottom. Alright you guys, so the air conditioner kicked on and I had to stop the video. So I went ahead and I harvested the rest of these here. Look at how gorgeous they are and they still need to continue to ripen because they're only a light pinkish. And that's that full glorious, beautiful red that we've got there. I went ahead and I trimmed everything up. And like I was saying, we had a lot, see that there? We had a lot of hot, hot, humid, unbearable weather, and that just killed the blossoms that we had at this level. And it kind of clotheslined all of the tomatoes like that. And look at what else it left me. These little black spots, which are fungus. And that's how I got them, was the hot and humid days. So, went ahead, uh, took everything off out here, but you can see, we're getting more buds, and we'll have some more. Look at that up there. It's gonna be gorgeous, guys. August 16th, and we are going to taste test these Blue Beauty tomatoes here. And you can see what it looks like when I cut the core out. And the bottom. Okay. And look at how beautiful the meatiness of that tomato looks. There we've got it chopped a little bit at the sides. That's what I took off the sides of this because I don't like to waste. And you can see how beautiful they are. So let's come over here and let's read this first. And this is in Pine Tree. This is certified. You only get 20 of these seeds and it's organic. So looking right above this, Blue Beauty takes 80 days, it's indeterminate. Shoulders start out sapphire blue, darkening to a deep purple red as they ripen. And we could see that on the video. Abundant amounts of six to eight ounce meaty slicing tomatoes, we can see that as well with clusters of fruit hold very well on the vine. Okay, and you could see that because this one here gave me some trouble pulling off. Having great crack and sunburn resistance. 20 seeds for $2.95. That's a pretty good price to try these. Now, I did not see any sunburn spots, but we do have some cracking here and we had some cracking on the top as well that's usually a water issue but remember we had that huge huge heat wave that affected most of the united states and europe so that's also going to be reflected in the garden this year so i am listen i was expecting that so 
you just have to roll with the weather conditions. You can't control the weather conditions either. You guys, I'm gonna try this piece right here. The skin feels a little snappy to me, but remember I'm right here on the shoulder of this. They have a good taste to them. I definitely feel like they need salt and I've already salted these and they've started to sweat for me and I'm gonna make a fantastic toasted tomato sandwich with Hellman's mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah, there's kind of a taunt little skin going on there. But again, when you're over here with just the edge of it, you're not going to hear that or taste that as much as you would right here at the edges of the shoulder. Mm. These are good. I'm going to eat these. Would I recommend you to try these? Absolutely, I would. Will these be a staple for me? I think I would actually rather have the black cremes because those are my favorite. All right, these front two, black creme. And then you can see the difference in size. They are bigger. Um, they don't have these blue tops. They're not high in antioxidants like the Blue Beauties are. However, these Blue Beauties were actually developed at Oregon State University. So they went through some breeding techniques. So they are considered cross cultivating, which means they're not an heirloom. So as far as me harvesting these seeds, I could probably get away with that for a couple of years and it would be okay. And if that's what you wanna do, get as many seeds as you can the first year that you personally grow it because each time that you grow this, those seeds are gonna deteriorate and become less and less from the original seed that you bought. The black cremes are an heirloom, a Russian heirloom, and seed saving is not a problem. Let's do a little bit of review on the Blue Beauty tomato. Germination takes seven to 14 days and please, Keep that moist. Do not let them dry out until you start seeing them come up, but really not even then. You want to keep going for about two weeks past the time you see them coming up. Don't overwater them. You don't want to rot them out. Uh, after a while, you kind of get a little bit of feel for what you're doing here. Plant more in case you make a mistake full sun, 70 to 85 degree Fahrenheit soil temperature for you to plant them directly into the soil. Direct sow for me in zone five was pretty easy. You can start them indoors six weeks prior to your last frost. They're indeterminate variety, which means really sky's the limit. It depends on the conditions. The black spot fungus that you've seen in the video had to do with the weather, not the fact of this is a blue beauty tomato or the actual variety. It had to do strictly with the weather that we had that year. You do, however, want to clip out as much of that as you possibly can. And it did not just affect the tomatoes, it affected my watermelons, my cantaloupe. Let's look at the catalogs that these come in. Well, we already looked at Pine Tree and we read that review because that's where the seeds came from. You can also get this in Seeds and Such. Seeds and such is one of my favorite places to get seeds when I started because they have a really good deal 
If you get your 20 packs, they're only $2.39 each. Of course, if you get less, then they go up from there. But this was good for me when I switched from and realized I'm spending way too much each May at the greenhouse for flats and flats of vegetables. I need to go direct sewing. And this magazine, this catalog right here was the gateway for me. It's got a lot of good basic varieties in here for you and an outstanding price. If you can get up to 20, just double down on some things like herbs and lettuce to meet your 20. Totally Tomatoes. I like this catalog too because I am a tomato freak. Love tomatoes. Love to try new tomatoes. Love a new tomato variety in the garden. So Blue, Blue, Blue Beauty actually was a pleasure to try. I also like this catalog because... You've got about 38 pages. That's all about tomatoes, and it's only a 66 page catalog. So you're getting a lot of tomato variety. But if you also wanted to start cucumbers or peppers, which are super easy as well, you have access to that. Lots and lots of stuff for you to pick from in here. If your main focus is going to be on just tomatoes. Okay, now let's look at Baker's Creek, which is one of the most beautiful, and I'll say it again, seed catalogs that I've ever seen. It is thoughtfully and artistically laid out and staged very well. All right, they've got Blue Beauties in here as well. Here's my question. Has anyone ever grown these black beauty tomatoes? Because down at the bottom, it says some proclaim it's the best tomato they have ever eaten. I'm very interested in knowing about this. If you can leave your comments, let me know if you think I would like that and how close of a taste is that to the blue beauty. Because as I had said prior, I think I would rather have the space be black crems. Uh, if I have a few more seeds, I'm not going to waste them. I'll grow it again, but I'm probably not going to order a Blue Beauty organic seeds again. I would much rather have the black creme because that's my taste preference. This might be yours, okay? I'm not trying to tell you not to grow these. They were a pleasure. I ate all of them. But when it comes down to it, space in the garden is limited. And I would prefer to have a black creme and have other room around to try new varieties, such as possibly this. Or maybe this black strawberry tomato because they say it is sugary sweet. And I, and look at how beautiful that is. See, it just gets me excited to try new things too. I've already tried this one. It's not quite my black creme. This, again, my own personal taste. So, if you have tasted these, grown these, tried these, if you would leave me a comment, let me know um, what you think about that. That would be sensational. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate you very much watching my video, especially towards the end, because I know that can be a challenge for some people. And I want to encourage you to garden and to start gardening from seed. You have so much control and there's a lot of cost savings when you are growing from seed, especially if you are choosing an heirloom variety rather than something that was crossbred, developed like the Blue Beauty was. So it is hard to save those seeds. You would have to keep ordering them. 
if you want them to be the same or taste the same each year. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.